hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make use of skip logic in cobalt tubers let's say you want to set some rules or you want to set criteria in your questionnaire you can make use of skip logic for that let's say you have your respondent to be between the age of your target respondent to be between the age of 15 to 80 and you want to ask you only want to ask those between the age of 18 down to 80 their marital status but you don't want to ask those between the age of 15 down to 17. you can make use of skip logic to do that you can make use of skip logic to set a boundary whereby if you ask the question is going to use the criteria to bring out the next question so to do that, I'm going to show you all the process in Kobo Tuber. So let's jump into it. The first thing we are going to do is to click on New. And I'm going to click on Build from scratch. Then I'm going to name this Skip Logic, right? So I'm going to click on, for the description, I'm going to leave it blank. For the sector, I'm going to use Order. And for the country, I'm going to use Nigeria. Okay, I'm going to use order, which I need to select. I'm going to use Nigeria, which I need to select. And I'm going to click on create project. And it's going to create the project. As you can see, this form is currently empty. You can add questions, notes, prompts, or other fields by clicking on the plus sign below. So I'm going to click on the plus sign below. So the question I'm going to ask for is name. So let me say name, which is the name of respondent. Name of respondent, right? Or name. So I'm going to click on add question and I'm going to use test because it is open-ended. You can type whatever you want. So I'm going to click on plus sign again. And I'm going to say that. Okay, I'm going to ask for the age right so age so i'm going to click on add question and i'm going to use number because age should be a number right so the next question i'm going to ask will be marital status so i'm going to ask you single marriage so which is this right now to use skip logic what i need to do now is because i want to set the rule on the marital status i want i only want to ask those between the age of 18 down to 80 this question the marital status so if you're below 18 if you're between the age of 15 to let's say 17 i want i don't want to ask the i don't want to ask them the marital status so it's going to jump to the next one right so to do that i'm going to come to the marital status and i'm going to click on settings i'm going to click on skip logic on the left hand side the second item on the left hand side which i'm going to click and I'm going to click, we have two buttons. We have add a question, add a condition. And we also have manually enter your skip logic in XLS form code. I'm going to show you how to do that also. So for, for this, I'm going to click on add a condition. And on the add a condition, I'm going to click on this select question. And you can see, this question will only be displayed if the following condition apply right so i'm going to click on age so if the age is greater or equal to 18 the question marital status should display if it is less than that it should hide the marital status right so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to use greater than or equal to 18 which i'm going to set to be 18 here respondent value to be 18 so if the respondent is 
equal to 18 years or greater than 18 years, this MITRE status is going to display. But if the age of the respondent is less than 18, the MITRE status, MITRE status is not going to display. So what I'm going to do now is I'll click on save and I'm going to come to preview to preview the form, right? Okay, let's see. So for the name of respondent, you can see the MITRE status is hidden by default. So let me enter the name of respondent. And if I enter 12, it's not going to display. If I enter 13, it's not going to display. If I enter 14, it's not going to display. If I enter 15, it's not going to display. 16 is not going to display. 17 is not going to display. 18 and is going to display, right? You can see. So it's going to display. So that is how to make use of simple skip logic, right? So let me click on single and let me click on validate. So let's go to the next one, right? Let's say, for example, you want to set the rule based on two conditions. So how are you going to do that? I'm going to show you. Now, let's say you have age, you have MITRE status. Let me ask for, let me ask for gender in between this, right? And for gender, she make it of male and female, right? So under the MITRE status, I'm going to ask for occupation. So what I want to do now is I want to ask for occupation based on the gender and the MITRE status of respondents. So if the gender is male and MITRE status is married, I want to ask for the occupation. If the gender is female and the MITRE status is single or married, I don't want to ask for the occupation. I only want to ask if the gender is male and the MITRE status is married. That's when I want to display the occupation. So how am I going to do that? What I need to do is I'm going to come to occupation and I'm going to come to skip logic. So I'm going to use this add a condition first. I'm still coming back to manually enter your skip logic in SLS form code. So I'm going to click on add question and I'm going to ask for the gender. If the gender is equal to male, this occupation should display. And if is equal to if the MITRE status is married. So now question should match all of these criteria, which means that it must satisfy the two condition. It must satisfy the two condition. The two condition must be satisfied, which means that the gender of the respondent must be a male and the MITRE status of the respondent must be married. That's when I want to display the occupation, right? So this is what I mean. I mean, if we have this and we have this, and I want to display this, if it's satisfied, if this one is true, and this one is also true, then it should come to this. This is going to display. So that's what I, which is, this is going to be the occupation, right? So let's go back, right? So question should match all of this, which is gender is equal to male and MITRE status is equal to married. So let's go to it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to preview to preview the form. So now, if I'm going to use 18 here to display the MITRE status. So if the gender is equal to male, you can see it's not bringing out the option. If I should choose single, it's not going to bring it out. If I choose gender to be female and MITRE status to be married, it's not going to bring it out. But if I choose gender to be male and MITRE status to be married, it's going to bring out the occupation, right? You can see. So if I choose married again, it's going to bring out the occupation. If I choose female, it's not going to bring it out. If I choose male, it's going to bring it out. Another alternative is that, you know, I can say gender is not equal to female. You can use not equal to. If you don't mind, it's still the same thing, which means that gender must not be equal to female, right? So it's still going to bring out the occupation if the gender is equal to male, right? 
if gender is equal to male let me use 18 here and marital status is married is going to bring it out right that is how to make use of skip logic right so i'm going to use i'm going to use a single criteria if it satisfy one of these criteria so am i going to do that what i need to do is just to change this question should match all of this criteria and i'm going to change it to question should match any which is gender equal to female or marital status equal to married so it means that it's going to display the occupation question if it satisfies any of this question gender is equal to female or marital status is equal to married so let's go right so i'm going to click on preview to preview the form right so for the age i'm going to use 18 to display the marital status so if I click on male is going to display the question you can see so okay let me go back again question should match any of these right so let me save and go back to it so let me use 18 okay I'm going to use 18 right if it's satisfied male and occupation to be married right You can see so i've made a mistake here so i change let me change it back to male and my data status is going to married so what i'm going to do now is to click on it again and change this to 18. if gender is equal to male is going to bring it out right and it satisfies any of the conditions gender to be male or my data status to be married so if i should come to, if i should choose female and i choose married is going to bring it out so it satisfies one of these conditions right so that is how to make use of skip logic another way to make use of skip logic so let's go to the last one which we are going to make use of the so we are going to make use of the manually enter your skip logic in sls form code so how am i going to do that for the gender i'm going to go back to the gender so i'm going to change the extensible markup language value xml i'm going to change the value to one for easy access right i'm going to change this to two also you can change this to to male if you don't mind or female but i'm going to change it to value i'm going to use one and i'm going to use two here for the mitre status i'm going to do the same i'm going to use one and i'm going to use two if you have more than this you can let's say prefer not to say prefer not to say so I'm going to change this to three, right? So if you have more than this, you can change it to one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. So now, what I want to do now is I want to display the occupation if it satisfies, if the if the gender is male and my status is marriage. That's when I want to display the occupation. If the gender is male and my status is married, I want to display the occupation using manually enter your skip logic in sls form code right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on it and i'm going to say that if gender is equal to male so how am i going to do that i would use dollar sign open curly bracket right so i'm going to go to the gender i'm going to copy the data column name i'm going to copy the data column name you can see so i'm going to copy this right Ctrl C and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to close it right then I'll say equal apostrophe so if the gender is equal to male so male extensible markup language is one if gender is equal to male which is one right which is equal to one close the apostrophe and which is a form of sql is similar to sql uh, query where you have if you have two criteria you use or you want you want one out of two criteria you use or if you want both criteria you use and so i want 
both i want it to satisfy both criteria which is the gender should be male and the marital status should be married right so i'm going to use and if i want it to satisfy any of the condition i'm going to use all right so i'm going to use again i'm going to say dollar sign open quality bracket for the marital status i'm going to click on the settings and i'm going to copy the marital status data column so i'm going to copy the data column name and i'm going to paste it here right and i'm going to close it equal if the marital status equal married married extensible markup language for married i've i've represented extem the extensible markup language to be two so i'm going to use equal apostrophe to close the apostrophe right then i'm going to save right so it means that it must satisfy the two conditions the gender must be equal to male which is one and the marital status must be equal to marriage right you can see the gender male accessible markup language is one and marital status accessible markup language for marriage is two right so let me click on this to preview right so i'm going to use 18 here so if the gender is equal to male and the marital status is married is going to bring out the occupation if the gender is equal to male the marital status is single is going to hide it marital status is prefer not to say is going to hide it gender is female is not is going to hide it you can see so it's must satisfy the two conditions so to satisfy any of the condition i'm going to change the and to all i'm going to change the and to all so let me save it right and come to preview so for the age i'm going to use 18. so if the gender is male is going to bring the question out so i'm going to change this to 18. gender is male is going to bring out the occupation if the mitre status is married is going to bring out the occupation so that is how to make use of skip logic in kubo 2 thank you very much